Ah, there you are. Come to Papa. Oh, hello there, everybody. I'm Random Bystander here, and I'm a random bystander who's here to enjoy a nice, delicious cup of coffee. You know, this reminds me of a Switch game I recently played. A game that focuses less on thrills and action, and more about taking your time, getting to know people, and perfecting your craft. I, of course, am talking about Animal Crossing New Horizons. Wait a minute. That game didn't come out yet. Coffee Talk. It's a game that I knew absolutely nothing about. I forget who, but someone on Twitter recommended this game, and the trailer really intrigued me with its detailed pixel art and peaceful tone. Instead of rescuing the princess, collecting sacred items, or beating an evil boss, you are just serving coffee and listening to people talk about their lives. It's a unique premise, although from the sound of that alone, it may be a bit boring. However, I decided to buy the game with my own money, yes, this is not a sponsored review, and give it a shot. Could a game about coffee keep me awake? Well, it's time to sit down with your favorite hot drink, and let's see what's brewing with Coffee Talk. The game takes place in a suburban fantasy world, where humans live alongside elves, werewolves, vampires, merpeople, succubi, orcs, and all sorts of mythical creatures. But this isn't Middle Earth, it's the fast-paced city of Seattle, Washington. And late at night, hidden in the city, is the quiet and welcoming little cafe, aptly named Coffee Talk, where you play its owner and barista with the name of your choice. Random Rista. Bar Random Rista didn't fit. Now you begin your quest to serve up coffee and listen to people's problems. In fact, that's what most of this game is. Just listening. It plays out like a visual novel, as we learn about different characters, their goals and aspirations, and the hardships they deal with. The cast of this game is really something special. Each character is not only memorably designed with unique details and quirky animations, but they're all written extremely well. To name some of my favorites, you have Baileys and Lua, an elf and a succubus who love each other dearly, but have families who don't want them together, and they have to figure out how this will impact their relationship. There's also Rachel, a teen pop star starting her solo career in the music industry, but also butting heads with her father, who worries her daughter might have to confront the darker side of the industry. You also meet a mermaid who wants to be an indie developer, a vampire model, a werewolf looking for a calming sedative, an alien in a spacesuit, on a mission to breed. Oh, yes. And of course, my favorite character, Freya, a human regular at the coffee shop, desperately trying to balance her novel writing with her work life. As a fellow writer, I can't tell you how hard I relate to this character. Literally writing the script for this, I'm relating to this character. Also, look at that smile. She's so adorable. Just make sure the alien stays far away from her. There's a lot I don't want to spoil, as the meat and potatoes is the dialogue and the story of the game. But one thing I love about Coffee Talk is that even though it takes place in a fantasy setting with all sorts of different creatures, everything is so relatable. These conversations conversations go into many topical issues that hit close to home without coming off as preachy. It's all done with natural sounding dialogue and subtle character growth, while you slave away at the counter. Oh, I forgot, this visual novel actually has gameplay. While talking with people about life, man, you serve them a variety of coffee, hot chocolates, teas, green teas, and more. Plus, adding extra ingredients to your drink will change the different drink stats, such as taste, sweetness, and temperature. I never thought I'd see a stat menu for coffee. Hello, Dunkin' Donuts? Yes, I like to order a masala chai. That's not too bitter, but also not too sweet, and warm and cold at the same time. Hello? Sometimes you can even make art with the milk. Anything your heart desires. I'm not sure what my heart was desiring here, but getting orders isn't always that easy. Some orders are easy to piece together, but others can be very vague, and you'll have to experiment to see what works and what doesn't. The more drinks you make, the more that gets added to your phone app. The brew pad, an app that basically keeps tracks of what drinks you made. Hey, there's also a social media app where you stalk, I mean, learn more about the customers, called Tomodachi. There's a news app with short stories written by Freya herself. Keep it up, Freya, you'll be starting your YouTube channel in no time. And hey, there's a music playlist where you can choose the soundtrack to your cafe. And speaking of the soundtrack, oh my god, the soundtrack. This is some of the most relaxing music I've ever heard. It really adds on to the game as it makes the atmosphere and the game itself feel a lot more inviting. Like even after a long day of life, I come into this shop, hear this music, and have a warm latte or green tea or milk or 
or Galahad. What is a Galahad? I never heard of that drink. I haven't heard of any of these drinks before this game. What is a Galahad? Is it real? Speaking of drinks, this game gives you a lot of room for experimentation, especially since the game is replayable and you may not get everything right your first time. Heck, if you want, you could even mess up the drinks on purpose to see what happens. You asked for a couple of ice cubes in your drink, and I only put in one! <laughs> Along with the main story, the other main mode you have is Endless Mode, where you can access both Free Brew and Challenge Mode. Challenge Mode is where characters give you a series of coffee combinations, and you have to brew their orders correctly as fast as you can. Like in the game, sometimes they tell you what you want, other times they leave it up to you to figure out the pieces. Or they tell you the ingredients out of order and they get mad at you when it isn't done exactly in the right order. You're all so picky, I swear! Free brew is exactly what it sounds like. You are experimenting with drink combos and seeing what drinks you can make with the ingredients. That's it. It's good if you want to experiment and see what beverages you can make, but there really isn't a reason to do so unless you want to 100% the brew pad. Which brings me to my only negative about the game. The side content and anything after the main story is a little bit lacking. While the story shines and there's tons of replayability, like Untitled Goose Game, once the main game is done, there isn't too much to do afterwards. The unfortunate thing about these indie games is that they can be a bit short and leave you wanting more. And Coffee Talk unfortunately falls into that same position. Still, what the game is, a calming experience with a thought-provoking story and food for thought, or in this case, drink for thought, I think the experience is more than worth it. Just something about everything in this game makes it feel warm and welcoming. And that describes coffee talk to a tea. A green tea? <coughs> Pun aside, this game has great design, a tranquil atmosphere, an interesting story that keeps your attention, and just an overall comfy and cozy experience. It's something you play tucked in bed after a long busy day at work where you can unwind, take a breather, and forget about your worries, while being engaged with a fun coffee game. Is it the most engaging game? Not really. You don't even have dialogue options, but it still has a lot to offer. If you're a fan of visual novels, or if you want to try a game that's a little bit different, I'd order some fresh brewed coffee talk. I hope you enjoy the power of a good cup of joe and how it can make you relax and solve most of your problems. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll finally take a sip. Oh wait! I hate coffee! Well hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching all this time and I hope you enjoyed what you saw and liked the channel. If you like what you saw, feel free to check out other videos we have, which are listed somewhere around in the end screen, I don't know exactly where. If you really like what you saw, like, comment, and who knows, maybe even subscribe if you want. I would appreciate it immensely. I usually upload a video once every Friday, whether it be a review like this, Twitch compilations, or an episode of the Random Streamer Here podcast, all which you can find in the channel below. I also stream on Twitch at least three days a week. You can check my Twitter and other social media to see when I'll be streaming. And, who knows, I'll be able to say hi to you. And you can even suggest some games I could cover for the review. Thank you very much for watching until the very end. It truly means a lot to me, and have a good night. Joke's on you, this was iced tea all along!